Uh, Caroline, welcome. So, so for those of you who don't know, all of you probably know, but for those of you who don't know, Caroline is, um, a, she doesn't want, that doesn't want me to call her an AAC expert. She is a AAC and literacy consultant, uh, currently in Arizona, sometimes in North Carolina. Hi. And, um, and working now with Don Johnson in their uh, special needs curriculum or their, their leveled curriculum, whatever the proper term is, uh, read Topia. So welcome. Thanks. Because so. the key thing is not, don't get, don't just go get excited about the tools. First of all, say, what is my goal of this activity? My goal is I want the students working on language that they already own to describe something. So now I'm going to come up with pictures. All right. So I can, so here are a bunch of things that I've prepared, but I can go, if I want to make the photo set. So what I want is these pictures. I got them right here. I just went manually upload a photo. So I just took screenshots, saved them in one folder. Boom, 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 boom really took seconds, but I'll show you here. I have the words on one side. I've put them, put them on a yellow background. This is in, in PowerPoint, but it could be Google Slides. It could be you know a Microsoft Word document. It could be whatever, because now you have the ability to do play tools. And I'll let, I'll let you guys jump in after I finish and explain how play tools. Right now, I have it integrated into um, into PowerPoint because I find that incredibly easy. But what if you don't have PowerPoint or you don't like PowerPoint, you can kind of just put it out to the side of anything. So if you're a Google Slides user, you can just have this wonderful piece out there. So let's So I'm going to uh, play, I'm going to create the game. I could do a spinner, dice, draw cards. I think I'll do dice today, let's be different. I'm gonna create a dice game. Oh, I see my little critters over here. And then I'm just going to roll that dice and then I'm going to bring it in. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, here's the picture. Which one of these words can it go through? Go, which one does it go through? So I can go through one at a time and do partner assisted scanning. Or if I'm working with a student who can annotate and just draw that line, I could, could, yes, I could just have the typical worksheet up there and that would be fine. Very functional but this is that slight extra engagement. And you, I want you to just count the, how many seconds it takes me for to re roll the next one, okay? So we're talking like five seconds of extra time for incredible extra engagement. So I'm just finding that really helpful. Today I was working with a student and my goal for her is to work on um, connecting language to the words that we've been talking about here. So I'm using the same dice, or I could have turned it into a spinner, but it's the same tool over here. But what I have over here is some words that describe. So one of the things I'm trying to get students to do is to use descriptive language. Use five set words to buy a, a harder word that's not so common. So it's long and you use it to tie something. So this is a less frequency. So let's get a picture. So it just happened to come up with this one. And so I did this. My student is a, a teenager. And she, this is very age responsible that she's got some rope here and she's, this is rope. So that one was, was right. And then I also look what I've snuck. I yes and no. So if it's yes, I could just pull this in. Yes, same. So these are just the, the tokens. I've just got them hanging out and hiding down below. So I can do that. And then I'm going to roll and we're going to see what we come with. Okay, so is that a match? Yes or, so yes or no. And then I can put a check or an A and then, and then you know throw this one away and roll again until we get there. Is this a match? No, et cetera, until we get to the raft. So again, getting that descriptive language that since we've been talking about it, one of the things I can do is roll one of these and then I can pull it in to the middle. And now we're going to each try to think of a word to use to connect to raft, you know, so just this simple little web activity. And this last one was for characters, described characters. And so going back to lesson picks, um, I, now I'm going to need to change my tray. So I'm going to clear my tray and I just want you to see how fast it is. I mean, I do this while we're, while we're doing, you know, while I'm with students and I say, oh, let's get your treasure Island characters. Let's see. So let's go load a character. So I've loaded it. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to uh, show my controls. I need to 
uh, go refresh my tray. Yeah. So now I have characters. And I'm gonna, just going to show a different game because why not? Why so not? I don't think we've shown draw cards yet. Create the game. And now I'm going to just draw a character. So, oh, so we have Jim Hawkins. Tell me a word that describes Jim Hawkins, okay? Right. We could do that kind of thing. Or we could do it the other way around. Everybody, you have a character and you've come up with words and the rest of us are trying to guess which character you were describing. So I have this when I'm doing um, making words, then I will have, I'll load up my words that we've made, our 10 words we've made in a making words lesson, and I can sort them using your sorting mat. And I just change this in a New York minute, right? And I can sort it by number of letters. I can sort words by word ending, et cetera. So I just really do a lot of different things. So now I have a bunch of bonus words, a bunch of AAC words, and so, yep, that's good. Let's go back and I'm going to get another PowerPoint. And we played find the word. And so probably I will have to sign in again now. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. You didn't have to. I mean, life is good today. And I'm going to I'm going to just play the default, which is a spinner. So this is what I did today with a student. She's supposed to find the word on her device. I'm just making it a little more engaging. We, I picked 10 words. I started with the core words that Carol Zangari did. We've gone through those. So now I'm on a second year. So I'm making up a new set of bonus words. So I just add them in. It comes up as only the word because I really want the students looking at the word, not only the symbols. I want to to have their visual literacy. Um, the idea that I, I believe I heard Karen say this first, that uh, symbols are for communication and text is for literacy. And so I want to support both. And so I'm saying, really, I've sent the parents a smart chart to where that word is on their communication device. And now they're finding the word really. And then the next time I meet with them, we're going to do a what's the meaning game where I'm also going to pull it up and we're going to find different meanings for that same word. Um, then we're going to do a question. Can you make a question using that word? Can you add endings to the word follow or forget? Um, can you, so I would be, you know, just spinning another word. So the word uh, better. And so I have a student I know is going to add meant, better meant betterness and just having so much fun adding endings to words. And then the next day, uh, next time I work with them, I'm going to um, add beginnings, word beginnings. So it'd be um, uh, unhurt and non-dirty. And then I'm going to do compound words where I'm going to have um, uh, like uh, hide out, et cetera. So, and then we're going to do an add-on where I just say a word and sit back and you add something in to show me that you understand how to make sense out of that word. And then another time we do it, I'm going to test show shortcuts on your device, blah, blah, blah. These are games that could be incredibly boring, but because of play tools, they don't feel boring. And they give me a really nice, big, bold word that's just flying in. Okay. So really am stopping sharing now. So for nope. AAC and literacy, I just, I really, really use this all the time.